Hi everybody, it is Tuesday, January 6, 2015. Thanks for stopping by. You know, I went on this Facebook page called uh, Stop White Rabbit Radio. White Rabbit Radio being a very insane neo-Nazi um, webpage or podcast or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's White Rabbit Radio. I think it's a podcast. And these people are basically just opposing neo-Nazis um, who want to start a genocide and turn America into a white country and exclude all other races. I've talked to these people before and they're really the scum of the earth. I mean, they are the world champions of just being low, rotten douchebags. And that is putting it kindly. So I went to this page and there's this woman on here and she seems to be complaining about um, being reported to YouTube for being, or not YouTube, being reported to Facebook as hate speech and Facebook taking down her page or taking down somebody's page. And she's saying, um, you know, whatever happened to freedom of speech? Well, freedom of speech certainly exists. That's why you're here telling these people at Stop White Rabbit Radio to shut up and to stop speaking because you have freedom of speech. But, you know, freedom of speech is not absolute. You don't have the right to slander other people. You don't have the right to, um, you know, perjure yourself before court. You don't have the right to incite genocide against minority groups, to incite riots. You don't have the rights to, uh, you know, attack other people viciously and spuriously and dishonestly because of their identity. You just don't have that right. When you do that and you encourage hate crimes against these people, you are infringing on their rights. And they can actually sue you for that in a court of law. So what you're complaining about, you could actually be sued for, you could actually be put in jail because you're inciting genocide, you're attacking minority groups in the most vicious and mendacious way possible with utter unalloyed hate, senseless, mindless, ignorant hate. And so you don't have a whole lot of room to complain when you go onto Facebook and agree not to do any of those things and then somebody points out that you're doing all those things against your agreement and you get caught breaking the rules and they take down your little racist hate page. You don't have the right to complain about that and cite freedom of speech while you're telling other people to shut up and stop, stop talking and pointing out what you're doing and getting you caught for your criminal behavior and your behavior that goes against the rules that you agreed to when you went on Facebook. Okay, so now this woman, Pamela King from Wyoming, you know, she has a lot to say about this. And what I thought was the most reprehensible was when she said, apparently, and I'm quoting Pamela King, apparently, you all must be half-breeds who were tormented as children for your tainted blood. And now you think you are fighting the good fight, laughing my fucking ass off. Or you yourself have made the choice to breed outside of your race. Either way, you are pathetic. Wyoming girl here, white pride worldwide. Well, isn't that nice? Pamela King. You think that if a little child is tormented their entire life by 
racists because of the color of their skin, that makes that little child pathetic. That makes you pathetic if some racist attacks you as a small child because you exist. How pathetic that little child is. Right, Pamela King? Isn't that right? How pathetic if some racist, ignorant, bigot attacks a small child. How pathetic that little child has to be for existing as a mixed-race person. And if you breed outside of your race, that's pathetic too. So is that what you do, Pamela King? Do you breed? Do you breed, Pamela King, like an animal? Do you have papers specifying that you're a purebred person, like a dog? Are you breeding? Because you know what, Pamela King, the rest of us aren't breeding. We're not looking to become purebred poodles. If we love somebody, we marry them. And if we happen to have children with that person, we love those children. No matter what their complexion is, no matter what their skin color, we love them as human beings. And if some scumbag, asshole, douchebag like you, Pamela King, torments our children, that doesn't make our children pathetic. That makes you pathetic. You are pathetic. You goddamn racist piece of shit. How dare you try and tell children that if they're tormented by racists, that makes them pathetic. And if you break the rules, we've got to be quiet about it and let you attack children because of how they were born. Because that's your freedom of speech. But we don't have freedom of speech. Fuck you. Fuck you. If I don't vomit from looking at your picture and reading your words, it'll be a goddamn miracle. You think we owe you silence and complicity when you're breaking the rules on Facebook? Fuck you. You got caught. Cry me a river. Get bent and get off of my goddamn planet while you're at it. Because you make me sick. All of you goddamn white pride worldwide motherfuckers who want to go and make a little white enclave somewhere in North America and then say white pride worldwide and attack people all over the world because really you just want to wipe out everybody that don't look like you. And spoiler alert, it's not gonna fucking happen. Thanks for watching.